Hello everybody, my name is Scatter. Welcome back to Divine Journey 2. So I set up a second mob masher like I said I would. And basically uh, I have the ME formation plane, the fluid formation plane here. And <clears throat> I have the pink slime coming from the main mob farm and that's going into the ME system. And then coming out of the formation plane, it just goes right on top of this. And because only one source block can spawn in here, there's no issues of like, as soon as the slime spawns, there's no liquid anymore. So it's, uh, it just falls directly onto that and it's fine. And that gets picked up by the same absorption hopper as the rest of the stuff. And then the pink slime just goes into the system. So I have a fair amount more pink slime. Now, the only issue with that is like when it builds up, like, well, I mean, this was mainly an issue when I had like some left in the system. But I did set up this little thing right here, which just exports and imports pink slime to this tank. Um, so just whenever we get any, it just kind of always cycles through. And then as soon as there's enough uh, to go in the fluid formation plane, it uh, it works. And I, I'm not 100% sure that if that's like the most efficient way to do that. But it has been working. Um, and we got a, a decent amount more uh, pink slime. And a lot of it I turned into uh, crystalline pink slime. But I do need some for these gold casings. Now, what I really need... I think is to ramp up the empowerer and I don't think I'm going to be able to automate it really effectively until I get actual AE2 automation, but that's going to be very soon anyway. Um, so I can just do it manually for now, but what I need is a lot more empowerers. I want one sort of set of empowerers. Well, like one empower and four display stands for everything I would want to empower. And by my count right now, that's nine things. I'm not going to worry about Mirian ingots yet. I'm not going to worry about essence of the unbroken yet. And I'm not going to worry about the Woodland Mansion locator token. Even though it looks like I could make that pretty soon. I don't know what this is from. One-time use. But, I mean, I can just make that manually. It seems like it's going to be not something I really need to make a ton of. So, by my count, that's nine empowers. We already have one, which means we need eight more. Now, eight more. So, the empowers actually take three display stands to craft, plus the four that's going to be around them. So, eight times seven is 56. We need 56 display stands. I have one here, but the one, uh, like, I don't think I have any more in storage here. So 56, <laughs> so it's so many. And then this needs, I need one of these. I need two of these for each display stand, right? So that would be, I need 55 times two is 110. So I need 110 of these, <laughs> yeah, which means I need... A hell of a lot of it. Okay. So some more dark stone. I might have to let the dark steel kind of build up here a little bit. And I definitely need some more machine cases. I really should auto craft like the, the next few tiers of the machine cases. But at, at a certain point, it felt like a little bit of a waste. But at this point, uh, I don't know. At this point, it feels a lot more necessary than it did before. And what I, what I really should also auto craft is... Um, all the slime ingots, because, like, we're getting the pink slime. I would like to keep, like, some of this, just at least a stack, you know. But, again, the pink slime we're getting pretty slow. And I could set up, like, another mob farm, but I don't know. I don't know if that's really worth it to do. I can just leave this running and get a few hundred. A few hundred is really not that much, is it? May need to ramp it up in the future. Also, I really like how, when you just saw, I, like, hover down into bed with the jetpack now. Um, so I'll wait for the dark steel to build up a little bit more and we can get some more dark stone because right now it's a little bit slow. Um, I turned back on the dark ingot production and it used up all the tar that I have. And I currently have 22,000 dark ingots. Probably won't need many more for a while. Uh, but when we do, we have a bunch of oil shale and oil sand that we're going to be able to get uh, tar from. Well, actually, I think tar only comes from the oil sand, but we have... So much of that. I think it's even on the uh, on the first page here. Yeah, 55,000 oil sand. So we're doing pretty okay. And actually, speaking of which, I think the builder in the deep dark is actually uh, done. So we can go take a look at that. I have been uh, kind of emptying the drive into our main system every now and again. But I think at this point, yeah, if you look, it's, it's just totally done. So it did, I think, 1,089 uh, chunks total. Now... We can just set it running again, but I don't know how really effective that's going to be. So right now the offset is zero, and we did five, uh, 512 by 512. So if I can make, how, how high can you make this offset? 
really high. Okay. So I can just move it over by another 512, right? So if that's how wide it is, it's going to move over 512, and then it's going to have a whole new set of blocks, right? So that should work, and then we're just going to get more. Okay, let's go. Okay, I think you're starting kind of high, so it doesn't get anything. Yeah, I, I did everything, like, basically this tier down, and I don't know why these blocks are still not mined out, but you can see most everything else is. I think these are from, like, maybe these were actually just dirt on their own, but... In any case, yeah, we're going to get even more stuff from that, and I will go, we will take this drive and insert it into our system. And I just use the uh, the I.O. port for that, so I can just carry this huge one back and forth, and I can leave it for a long, a long time, and not have to worry too much about it. There we go, should be plenty of the space in the system. Most of these drives here are empty, so should be plenty of space for that stuff. Uh, okay, so I will... Wait for a little bit and let the dark steel production get back up there and we'll make all the gold casings we need, which I'm surprised there was a quest for, by the way, because it's just kind of a crafting ingredient, right? I don't even see where they are. They were this early? Oh, interesting. Um, but anyway, yeah, we there's this spawner is here. Now, I'm not opposed to this. I mean, it seems like it could be really useful, but I looked up... I looked into this spawner a little bit. I think I'll just wait for the powered spawner from Ender.io, which I may actually also be able to make very soon, if not now. I think it's coming up soon in the quest, but... Um, the uh, Being able to spawn Wither Skeletons would be really good for the Heart Canisters and also for uh, Nether Stars, because right now I'm out of Wither Skeletons. I don't really want to have to go fight them in the Nether, you know, like normal. I'd rather avoid that if I can, but... Not sure if there's going to be a good way to uh, spawn them soon, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. But anyway, uh, I will let this uh, build up a little bit. Also, speaking of which, I uh, I just let this farm run, and I just have, like, totally full drawers of logs and planks. So that's basically never going to be an issue again, which is great. And I've, of course, been making, like, the resin and stuff with them. And I just put a lever here so I can shut it off because this actually does keep running if it backs up with resin. So it's a little bit of a waste, even though these are, like, free. Uh, and we have a couple stacks of coated cloth right now. But I think to get those, to get these, like, renewably, I think we're going to have to wait for Mystical Agriculture. Because uh, there's, like, not too much of this in the end, right? Maybe setting up a builder there would work, but, eh. We're close enough to Mystical Agriculture, I think. Like, I don't, I don't think we're going to need too much of that cloth right. Uh, oh, there's an eclipse. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's... Uh, Get some of this dark steel up. You gotta admit, this does look pretty cool with the eclipse. It's like the only lit up square rectangle. It's kind of cool. Alright, so while I was waiting for the dark steel to build up a little bit, I did just go ahead and set up the uh, pink slime, crystallized pink slime, and then crystalline brown slime up here. It's, just, you know, super simple. You can tell everything that's happening here. I'm just pulling the... Uh, Pizality grains, dust, whatever it is, grains of Pizality from this machine here that was already making it. Just pulling that over there, and then everything goes into the drawer system via this conduit back here, which is great. And, um, yeah, so that's uh, that's really cool to have. And uh, we're just getting everything from the, from the system there. So that's cool. Now, I think I should be able to make the rest of what I want to make here. So I needed 110 gold casings, which is... I currently have 110 minus 64 is what? 100 minus 54 is 46. So I need 46. So 46. So 46 minus 24 is 22. So I need six more machine cases. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And now I should be able to make this. Boom. And now I should be able to make all of these. Now I, I think I'm going to run out of some of this other stuff. Yeah, okay, I couldn't even, oh, well, because it wasn't, they weren't in the system, right, of course. Um, right, so then coil, gold coil, so I need some glod, and then for this, I need some, some of this stuff. So this should all be fine to make. I can just grab as much as I can, and whoops, and then glod is, like, almost entirely free. 
I still don't know how to automate uh, this before integrated dynamics, so I'm thinking I just won't. We are really close to ID anyway. Now, I know there are some, there's like laser relay, some such thing in, uh, in, in AA, in actually editions. I'm not sure how to use those. Might be worth a look. Um, but yeah, for now, I think all of this is just going to work out uh, just fine. So I think I need slightly more of that. Now, aesthetic green block, chiseled quartz. So a block of quartz, aesthetic quartz, chisel. Chisels in my bag, as usual. Okay. Yeah, some of this turns green and some of it is just a different pattern, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, it didn't do anything. I should have figured it wouldn't do anything, but you never know with this kind of stuff. Very cool. And I already know I'm, I am going to need a little bit more Claude for this as well. The, the hover is very convenient in some places, but sometimes it's not. But the inconvenience of having it on all the time, I think, is outweighed by the inconvenience of having to turn it on and off. So I think I'm just going to keep it set up like this, even though it is very slightly annoying sometimes. But I think it's mostly fine. Um, so I need more in Nori as well. That's actually what I'm missing here. Okay. Yeah, for this stuff, I don't really mind just bulk crafting it until I can automate it because I don't need a completely insane amount for now. I'm sure I will. I'm almost certain I will. You know what? No, I am certain I will. But for now, this will do. This will do. Okay. Let me just make all of that. Now, I didn't mean to make two stacks of that. I accidentally double-clicked, but it worked out. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, make one stack of that. That should be fine. And you, that's not in the system yet. So there you go. Now this should give us 40. 57. Okay, well, I made, I, I overdid it a very slight amount, but that's okay. Now in terms of this stuff, Restonia crystal blocks, five. So I need a little bit more. Restonia. I'm running a little bit low, low on redstone, which is insane. Uh, so I actually am going to go turn on the mechanical squeezer. This gives us 12. And then the enrichment center also gives us 12. Uh, but I mean, this is like 12 plus 2 plus, you know, it's it's just a little bit easier. It's just separate from everything else. So there we go. That'll build up the redstone again nicely. I didn't realize I was running that low. Now, uh, to be at the point where I'm saying 20,000 is a low amount of it, honestly, I, I just feel blessed about that. But I mean, at the same time, I feel like I'm just, uh, you know, chasing a dragon. You know, it's like, feels like it's going to be enough and then it never is. I don't know. It's probably fine. Now, the automating thing, I feel like at this point, I don't know how I ever managed not to automate anything. You know what I mean? But... That's it. That only means we're moving forward, making progress. Okay, so Empower. Now, the only thing I'm worried about here is the Quantum Disk. I know this stuff is kind of annoying to make. Uh, right, because it needs these, which annoyingly, not the full circuit, right? So I do have enough coded clath rate at this point, um, but I do need to make some calculations. So I need nine, nine Empowers. Uh, no, sorry, eight, because I already have one. I need eight Empowers, which means I need eight of these, which means I need 16 of these, which means I need... 32 of these. Pretty straightforward. No problem there. One thing I definitely want to do soon is get a better inscriber setup because there's nine different kinds of these circuits uh, and I definitely want to be able to make them uh, easier, more easily than this. Um, but I don't know exactly how necessary that is right now. Like I don't see a massive, massive need for more than like one or two types of circuits. So I'm not sure if that's going to be worth doing at the very moment. But I don't know. So I also need eight of these, which means we need some more of these hyper diamonds. And I don't think I have very many more, right? 
So remind me again, they're made from this, which is made from this, which is made from this. So Darkstone, Graphite, and HLP Graphite. Right, so I should have enough here. Um, smelt up some coal for that. And then Darkstone, Darkstone. Uh, 19, sure, that's fine. 11, yeah, do 11. That's fine, and then I should get 22 Hyper Diamonds out of that, I believe. So I'll, um, I wouldn't let you miss the explosion. All right, I've gone ahead and made a little obsidian box here because it is, of course, uh, blast proof. I got tired of going all the way over there for this. And also, I mean, that's not really super sustainable, is it? But anyway, so maybe I didn't think that through completely. Uh, but that's okay, because I got the hyper diamonds, uh, which is uh, what we needed. So it's fine. It's actually fine. It's totally, totally fine. Uh, yes, okay. So we need, what else is it we need for this? Um, there, vibrant crystal. Okay, are we? We're not auto crafting vibrant alloy. No, I was worried about that. So vibrant alloy is energetic alloy and ender pearl. We are auto crafting energetic alloy. So I can just take that and some ender pearls, which a reminder we have an absolute ton of, and craft them up together. There we go. We actually needed exactly a stack of it, so it works out. So we need eight vibrant crystals, and we need eight of these. Okay, so that, is that now everything we need for this? Maybe I need a little bit more dark stone. Actually, no, because I didn't actually craft those things yet. Oh, okay. Ender crystals, ooh, is that also vibrant? That's also vibrant alloy, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'll go make some more. Okay, we got the circuits handled now. All I need is 16 single batteries, which don't stack, which is great. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. And now 16 double batteries. And I think these all need to be charged. 11, 12, 13, 14. I must have counted wrong. Did I? Oh, no, because these are still here. Okay. 15, 16. There we go. Okay. Now, I, I do think these need to be charged, which is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. Let me make sure of that. Seems like they do. And then what else am I missing there? The quantum disks. Eight. Can I make eight? No, because I need more dark stone. Dark stone. There we go. Can I make six? Thank you. And the powers. So let's just see if I take the battery, double battery, double battery. Don't know why they're not stacking. No. Okay. So I'll go charge all these. All right. 16 fully charged batteries. Still don't know why this one's not stacking, but should be fine. So that's one. What are you missing there? Oh, did I not make? Oh, no. They're here. Okay. I was going to say. Eight empowers. Amazing. There we go. And 33 display stands. We actually need 32. So this is, it's really annoying that I made an extra one. Not sure how that happened. But anyway, um, so they craft. Um, I don't know where I was going with that sentence. Sorry. Uh, the, so this is my plan. Okay. I did see this on the discord right? Because I don't think I would have thought about this myself. I would have done like, you know, eight, like I would have spread them out horizontally and it would have been awful. But I believe you can simply do something like this and just stack them, which is crazy. But it just might work. In fact, I'm very confident that it will. So you just uh, stack the display stands on top as well. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, so it's going to have to be like this. Um, that's okay. And now then we can have each level is going to be a particular craft and we can have conduits going up for power and for items and we can have all those filtered and it'll be cool, right?
come on. I was holding shift there. Come on. Okay. One more. There we go. Okay. So here is our tower of empowering. And I guess now I just need to run conduits up the whole thing. All four of these need power uh, on the outside. And then all five need to be able to insert items. And then the middle also needs to extract items, of course. So that's going to be hell uh, to set up. But that's okay. You may say this was unnecessary to do right now. I don't know, because you can just use the same empower for everything. If I want a passive auto craft, I can't, but I mean, I'm going to have AE2 auto crafting soon. Maybe this was a waste of time and resources. I don't know. It's cool, if nothing else. So that alone is a reason enough to do it, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to, I'm going to lower it down a bit, which thankfully I'm not stupid enough to mine up everything. I will just mine the top layer and because I think it looks kind of stupid lifted up out of the ground like that. So I will uh, move it. Uh, but in, uh, before I do that, though, I do want to set up at least one of these for what we're actually going to do. So what is actually going to be the best way to do this? Now, I could I could power them all by running up resonant flux ducts. I don't need to use conduits because you can just have the conduits on the inside and the flux ducts on the outside. Maybe that would be kind of ugly. Uh, would it be ugly or would it be fine? I think it would be fine. Yeah. So you come up there. I guess you don't have to come up there. The important thing is I have conduits going up, right? So... Say if this chest is going to be our input chest, right? Then you just need to go to there, 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 and to there, and also over to there. Okay. And then these will all be insert. And over here as well. And you will be extract. And then you, let's have you insert on, or extract on red. And that's going to be the output chest, right? So I'll have two different chests, in, input and output. That makes sense, right? And then I just need filters on all these. So I'll set it up for empowered Ignori right now, because that seems like a pretty useful one. I think we have a setup here that works. Uh, I have all the filters set up for all the ingredients. The only thing I'm not sure about is, is this going to pull out the unfinished product? And if it will, then that means I need to um, get another filter for the output. I'm not sure if that's going to end up being necessary, but I have some stuff here. Why do I not have actual snow? I took out snowballs by accident. That's fine. Um, put all this stuff in here. And as if by magic... Come on. Could turn on round robin here. Would be a good idea. Doesn't seem to be working as intended, but that's okay. Why is that not working as intended? I don't care. Where did the... Actually, oh, you're still in... Oh, no, you're inserting on green. You don't want to do that. No, they're all going there. That's not what I want at all. There we go. There we go. And it looks like, amazingly, that does not get pulled out unless it's an actual output item, right? So this is perfect. All I need to do is put all the inputs in here. As soon as I get conduits running all the way up, all I need to do is put the inputs in here and the outputs will go in here, which is honestly amazing. Um, this is really good. And it's, it's good because I remember when I've played with this mod before, I remember the empower getting clogged up really easily, even if I had the filter set up really well, because I only had one. Now that I have a tower, not going to be an issue. Every level of the tower is for a specific item. All the filters are only going to have one item attached. Never going to be an issue. So, uh, I mean, knock on wood, I guess, but I don't see it being an issue. This is just uh, really, uh, really cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> I, I have to say I didn't expect to... Uh, maybe not that I didn't expect to, to get that done today, but... Um, yeah, well, that's, I mean, it's good progress. I'll, I'll finish getting it set up, um, sort of between episodes here because it is such an annoying, 
uh, thing. And uh, then we should be able to finish up this quest and get into some other stuff here. Orange cylinders are cool. Or orange, orange canisters. Um, the annoying thing is that each of them does take a red heart canister. And then it's also this. It, just, it takes a whole lot of stuff here to make one of these. But uh, we, we are going to be able to get a few more hearts, which is cool. But now we're not really doing much fighting, so does it really matter? Eh, not really, but it's still cool. Um, and then, of course, over here we get the uh, the powered spawner, which is going to come very handy as well. Uh, but I wonder just before this episode ends, are we going to be able to make this resistive heater? And I think the answer is yes. So this is how we start the journey to Osmeridium. And I think we should be able to get into Osmeridium tomorrow. Uh, I don't see anything that would hold us back from that, thankfully. And what kind of gear is that? Was that an Electrum? That is an Electrum gear. And I have exactly enough to make one Electrum gear. Amazing. Um, not auto-crafting Electrum, interestingly. It's a pretty useful uh, material, but I guess it hasn't been useful for too much since MV cabling, I guess which seems like ages ago at this point. Um, so maybe not going to auto-craft it. Who can say? And I'm actually not sure at this point what the resistive heater is even for. But Quest says to make it, so we're making it. Do we really not have any elite circuits? What the hell, really? Um, there we go. And resistive heater... There we go. Okay. Great. Preparing for the winter. Turn energy into heat. Provides heat for the thermoelectric boiler, which is a multi-block... <laughs> thermoelectric boiler. Right. Okay. So, it's a lot of stuff. What is it, what is it used for? What is this going to do for us? What is that going to get us? Steaming... Steaming Restonia. So this is in the PRC. We need DT fuel. Is that the only way to make it? Yes. So we need to make a PRC. Actually, pressurized reaction chamber. That might be one of the things we made for our first bit of plastic. I think it is. Uh, electrolytic separator. Pressurized reaction chamber, yeah. So we don't need this set up here anymore at all uh, because we are, of course, getting plastic the more renewable way. Um, which, by the way, I do have a lot of <laughs> that at this point. Um, I haven't really used it for too much, disappointingly. Uh, but it was pretty much free to make. Uh, but steaming. Let's look back at this. So there's a bit of a there's a bit of a signal chain here, right? So first of all, it's empowered Restonia, which that alone I have the capacity to automate now. Of course, that I have the tower, but I'd, I'm not automating it right now. Steam, I think, is going to come from the boiler, and then also this DT fuel, which we need to mix. You do get some back, which is nice. Um, Liquid to solid. Is it liquid to gas? Okay. But it's deuterium and tritium, and that's going to be heavy water. And heavy water comes from... I'm not sure yet. Maybe that, maybe that's also the the boiler here. Maybe it's the brine. Maybe that's where some of this comes from. i got to look at that uh, quite a bit. Boil your troubles away. Infusion. Yeah, okay. So filter upgrade. This is how you produce heavy water is with this filter upgrade. Okay. Can I make one of those right now? Blank dark steel. I mean, I, I can. This is pretty easy to make. I just haven't yet. Um, and then this goes in. What kind of machine does that even go in? What the hell? Electric pump. We haven't even made a pump yet for mechanism, which is funny because we haven't really needed lava, right? Because you can pump lava from the nether. We haven't really needed it for too much. But anyway, I'm rambling a little bit and... Uh, so I think this is all stuff that needs a little bit more preparation. So I will do that uh, for tomorrow. And hopefully we will get our first bit of iridium tomorrow. Perhaps even osmiridium. I think once you have iridium, osmiridium is pretty, uh, pretty much a given. But yes, hopefully tomorrow we get there. I know there's a lot riding on that. AE2 auto crafting being a huge one. Uh, but I know there's a few more things. But right now, I mean, with this jetpack, the quality of life is pretty huge. A2 auto crafting is just going to be like icing on the cake, I think, and then that's really going to enable us to expand even further out. Uh, but that's all going to be tomorrow. So for now, if you made it this far, 
Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.